Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Providence Day School for tonight's contest between the Bucks of Country Day and the Chargers of Providence Day. We'll start with the Country Day lineup. Number one in gold, Lisa Bray. Number four, Sam Vanderhave. Number six, Charlotte McGuire. Number nine, Ellie Wilkins. Number 10, Avery Johnson. Number 11, Cassie Odom. Number 13, Rachel Giffen. Guffin. Sorry. Number 17, Molly Brown. Number 20, Haley Ray. Number 21, Niall Collins Friedland. Number 22, Kira McPhillamy. And Country Day is coached by Oscar Del P. Do not get complacent. You understand? I want you to show them the strength of our roster here tonight. Go to And here's the starters for Providence Day. In goal, number one, Molly Deblitz. Number two, Kelsey Hart. Number four, Brooklyn Jensen. Number seven, KK Hart. Number 10, Kate Cater. Number 17, Blaine McElroy. Number 18, Katie Tedder. Number 19, Leah Zimmer. Number 22, Devin McElroy. Number 24, Abby Goldine. And number 25, Rowan Daly. Have our national anthem. Right, Charlie, I don't know, did you get our Providence Day coaches on that injury? I didn't know if I heard you do them or not. I did not, but the Chargers are coached by Dan Dudley and assisted by Ashley Liberto and Chris Gundacker. 
Chargers coming to the game with a 13-1-1 record. They had a really aggressive schedule last week, playing Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and by Saturday noon, their um, their legs were pretty tired, and they lost their first game of the year, a, num- a 1-0 game against Ashley and Wilmington. Really good game. Um, they also tied Friday night against Hoggard. Hoggard apparently packed the box the whole game, and Chargers couldn't break through. Chargers continue to be, at least in the current rankings, ranked t- number one in North Carolina and two in the state. Country Day is 9-1-1. One one, sorry, 9-3-1. and 3-2 um, and two in conference. And they are ranked 29th in the state. Charlie, can you see the number on the defender closest to us for Country Day? I cannot. I'll just have to figure just it. Give it a try. Number nine. Okay. Excellent. Uh, is that nine? The one with the light blue cleats? Yeah. Is that nine? Yes, number nine. Okay. Actually, I think she's playing... She may be playing midfield. Let's, we'll see what the Country Day sets up with formation-wise. Country Day kicks the ball along forward. Kick forward by the Chargers. Blaine McElroy has it. Up. Oh, K.K. Hart kind of misfires on the pass. It seemed like the field was a little bit slick at the moment. We had a little bit of rain earlier, so that could be part of it. Or at least some lightning. <laughs> yep. Uh, Katie Tatter was start starting at the center back. She plays a lot there, but it doesn't usually get the start there. So that's good for her. She's one of Providence Day's really good freshmen. Well, it's hit. Inside, Molly Deblitz comes out and gets it. We're pretty good with names on this broadcast, but I mess some up occasionally. Hopefully, Charlie can help me. Yeah, well, I think it, it gets better as the year goes on. And as the lights kick in so I can see the numbers better. True. I think mid-season form is a is a term for both players <laughs> and, and broadcasters. That was Molly Brown that tried to reverse the field far side. And that's a throw in for the Chargers on that left side. And I did not see who was throwing that in. It should have been. Have to check out what's going on with formations here. Good ball movement so far yeah, Mac- by Country Day. McElroy recovers back on Wilkins. Wilkins goes back to number 21. Niles Collins Friedland. Chargers take over and then lose it. That's to Haley Ray. Far side, able to keep it in. On the far side is the midfielder. And then knocked out there. Looks like Abby Goldine's playing a midfield position here. Let's see what happens. What's the call? Some kind of a foul called on the Chargers. Did not see an indicator there. Nice step in. Abby Goldine looks for the long diagonal pass towards McElroy. Not able to get through, but that was a good look. It was a very good look. Yeah, I think Abby's playing left mid. First time we've seen her at midfield this year. She picks that shot off. Looking far side towards McElroy. Nice McElroy pass. gets it. McElroy goes back to Cake Ihart. Yeah, beautiful pass. Beautiful catch in a sense by McElroy, too. Cater goes really high and long, and that's... <laughs> <laughs> was that, that Leah? Leah? I think that, that was Leah trying to avoid the goalie. That mm-hmm. was caught by Lisa Bray. Nice job with a no contact play there. KK Hart knocks that forward towards Blaine McElroy. McElroy is pressured. Comes back to Cater. Cater is pressured. Cater backs and recovers it. 
can't see the number in that player because her hair is over her number. <laughs> and they have those dark green numbers, too. Yeah, good press there. Taking the ball away from Kelsey Hart. Nice pass. Drive in the corner. Timing. Good block. I think it was by Brooklyn Jensen there. And then that's going to be a goal kick. Let me borrow those old guy's binoculars that you got right there. <laughs> So it looks like Rowan Daly is playing left D. Abby's playing left mid. Nice play by Abby looking across. McElroy's coming over. Break has to come out and get it. Does a good job. It was close. Then we got Jensen and Tedder. And then Cater looks like she's playing an outside back here. Country Day throw, Wilkins comes over to get it. We really enjoy seeing these uh, Country Day players in different sports, about half of these people we know from field hockey and other things as well. I do recognize a good amount of these names. Wilkins with the throw in, battle in the box. Cater tries to kick it out, controlled by Country Day, and then that's Wilkins' shot that goes wide. You know, who else didn't start was Jada. I don't know if she's injured. No, I'm spinning. <laughs> um, let's try that. I don't know if that's my computer or if that's the stream. It should be live now. All right, we think we're good. All right. Stream should be live again. Uh, back to Kate Cater, able to get it up to KK Hart. KK Hart gets it through. Nice pass. And shot just wide. I will say that was that was some really nice ball movement by the Chargers. KK Hart was double teamed there in the middle, and she found a way to get the ball out of there. You know what? We have both McElroy sisters wearing the same cleats today. That's going to be a problem. Oh, no. I already called Devin Blaine once. Well, so we do. We do. We do have the captain band on right. Blaine. We'll have to use that as our but our indicator. Uh -huh. I think I called Devin Blaine earlier because yeah. of the cleats. The nerve of them. I know. Down the far sideline. Goes out of bounds. We can make sure they know they're not allowed to do that anymore, right? <laughs> yeah, I'll talk to Blaine in class. Charlie, we get to 30-minute mark. I'll let you take over play-by-play -play for a while. Oh, boy. All right. Blaine battling for it. Abby tries to win it. Blaine gets it. Blaine driving the end line and goes out of bounds. Chargers some good pressure down here, but haven't really gotten a significant shot on goal yet. Well, Leah had a good, had a good look. Yeah. Hers was a little bit off, though. Yeah, they haven't forced a save yet. Is no. what I think about it. Well, I, th I think that's in large part due to Country Day's pretty solid start. You know, for they've kept themselves out of danger for the most part. Yeah. Calling a push in the far side, boy. Me trying to identify those numbers in the far <laughs> side right now is yeah not easy. It's dark. That's Kelsey Hart. She goes over to Katie Tedder, who has space. Tedder lines it up, goes outside to Kate Cater. Cater goes down to Devin McElroy. Devin trying to drive. Devin trying to drive again. Tries to win a corner and does. Well, here's our opportunity we're looking for. Looks like Devin's going to take it because she stayed in the corner. Mm hmm. Not that we can see the corner, but that's okay. Leah's shot is blocked. 
Nice play by Kelsey Hart to come over and knock it away. Comes back to Katie Tedder. Tedder is pressured and has wow. it knocked away by number 13, Rachel Guffin. She might need to take this. Guffin goes to Avery Johnson. Johnson shoots wide. Yeah, I think you could see the Chargers kind of enclosing on her there. And that, that may have been the best shot that they were going to get on that possession. And I don't think it was a bad shot, but just wide. Yeah, good shot, shot to take, not on frame. All right, Charlie, you got play-by-play -play here for a while. I'll help Let's you identify it. players. Yeah, that's going to be the hardest part. It's going to be a throw-in for Country Day. I need to borrow your goggles. I think that's <laughs> McPhillamy on far side. Okay. Out of bounds. Who's that on the throw? Can you see a number? That's number 11. Cassie Odom. Cassie Odom. It's high in the air. Back to Deblitz. Steps about 10 yards out of the goal over to Kate Cater. That was Ellie Wilkins that popped that up. KK Hart. You got it. I'm taking over. I got to be quiet. <laughs> I'm trying over here. Nice picked pass there. This looks like Katie Tedder on the defense. That was Ellie Wilkins so for Country Day trying to get that through. Throwing for Ellie Wilkins. Good defense, but nice split there by Molly Brown. Out of bounds, that's going to be a corner, I believe. Yeah, it was a nice play by Brooklyn Jensen to come over and it shut was. down the cross. So that's going to be number four, Sam Vanderhave. It's Vanderhave. Vanderhave. There you go. Hard A. Nice corner. Good header. Let's set it out by Blaine. This looks like Katie Tedder. No, it's Abby. Abby. Light blue cleats. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Free kick. It's going to be Kelsey Hart. From right at about midfield. Maybe a few yards back. Short pass over to Jensen. It's Rowan Daly first side there. Great nice play. speed by Daly. It's Devin. Right to the goalie. That's number one, Liza Bray. Pretty easy save there. Yep. I think that's about as easy as it'll get. Here comes Blaine McElroy over to Abby Goldine. Good look there, but a nice save. Yeah. Offside is called. I'm not sure if Abby was offside or Devin was, but... Offside to I the think, I think it was Devin. But a goal kick nonetheless. This is really interesting. Here's Niall because Collins Freeland. Who Deblitz? No, has has uh has Abby Goldeen playing up. Oh, okay. Yeah, interesting switch there. He's he's almost like overtaking Jada's place. Uh huh. I was gonna say that looks like could be a replacement, and then Katie Tedder maybe swapping places with her. Well, they well, actually, Rowan's she's, in, she's in Rowan's the in yeah. her spot. Okay. KK goes outside to Abby. Wow, nice job there by Goldine coming away with it. And, and that's that's, that's Devin McElroy. Yep. 
That's Devin from Abby on a great individual effort by Abby yeah, Goldine. Yeah, for sure. That was that was all set up by Abby Goldine winning that one on one and then a good look finding Devin McElroy in the back corner. That's nice of you to put it that way. I'm not sure it wasn't a shot that just got deflected, but we'll give her the assist either way. <laughs> I'll, I'll give her the assist. Absolutely. Feeling generous tonight, you know? It's Abby with it again. Up to Cater, to Zimmer, outside to Abby, deflected. Kate Cater steps in. It's Kelsey Hart, right? Up to Devin. Yes, that is Kelsey. It's Devin back to Kelsey. That could have been dangerous on the bounce there, but could have it. been. It's going to be a goal kick for Liza Bray. Wow, nice header by Devin. Good pressure by Abby, gets it to Leah. Leah's shot is blocked. Let's see if that's a corner. Yep. So this is going to be Devin taking it again. Usually Blaine takes these corner kicks. So an interesting switch here. Well, that may also be not having Jada on the field and mm -hmm. with Blaine in front. Good kick. Uh, it was Maybe a little bit far out. Headed, well, it was headed just out by Country yeah. Day. That should be a PD throw. Good defensive play to it's Kate Cater. I think that might have been Haley Ray on that defensive header, but I'm not sure. Here's Abby again. A oh, far nice side. Nice kick. Oh. Wow. <laughs> that was impressive. We, we got a perfect angle from that, too. That was right from our booth straight into the goal. Could see. I, I don't know if... Was that a purposeful shot? That was a purposeful shot. I don't know if we give... Did we give... Uh, was it Blaine that got the pass to her? I think that's really... Was uh, unassisted, but we don't have... We did not award an assist. That kind of just snuck right into the corner. Yeah. If it would have been a foot to the left, then it may have hit yeah. the post. I think it was Blaine on the assist, but we'll have to check the records. If it was, if it was anyone on the assist, it would have been Blaine. Okay. Here she is again. Wilkins comes back to get it. Wilkins head up, tries a long clearance. Katie Tedder knocks it back to Abby again. Sorry, that was KK, not Abby mm -hmm. yet. They tried to get it to Abby. It's Johnson driving the here. goal. Just blew by everybody. Nice play by Brooklyn Jensen. Nice steady play. There's Brooklyn Jensen again with another nice steady play. That's a pretty play. tough pass there. Devin to Blaine. Beautiful breakout here. Blaine yep. goes back to Devin. I mean, back to Blaine. Two man game right here. Chargers have numbers. Country Day is trying to recover back. Blaine cuts and shoots, and that's a dangerous wow. angle. Blaine, that's Blaine's most dangerous angle. Right that was, foot that side. That was an incredible shot there. Far out. And you said it. We, we've seen that from her multiple times this year. Those really nice upper 90 shots. Yeah, really from, from the Blaine. Yeah, from the edge of the 18, mm -hmm. that side. So that, according to my records, that means we're going to give... 
Blaine, Devin, and Abby each a goal and assist so far. Yes. Like I said, we're feeling generous tonight, so we'll <laughs> we'll let the Abby Goldine assist slide. She also had a very nice goal. All right, Brooklyn Jensen was over talking to Dud, so the defense rotated, but now game's back on. Collins Friedland has it knocked away by Abby Goldine. Got about 31 people watching. If any of you are watching out of state from, I don't know, Tulane or Denison, let us know in the chat where you're watching from. Kelsey Hart goes into the open space to Daly. Up to Devin McElroy. Over to KK Hart, knocked away by Johnson. Devin Ooh. has a shot. Wow. She's trying to imitate Blaine with that mm -hmm. shot. <coughs> trying to provide some competition there. That was a little bit high, though. Tough shot. And it'll be another goal kick for Liza Bray. A little bit Bad of pass there. Yeah. yeah. Collins Friedland miscommunicated with Wilkins. Goes out of bounds. Kate Cater on the throw. K.K. Hart has it. Knocked out by Johnson. And is that a corner? I think that's going to be a corner, yeah. Yep. For K.K.? Yeah, I think K.K. is going to take it. Okay. She might go quickly. Uh, she did not. Kate Cater was open, but they decided to not go with a quick short one. Nice ball. A little bit over the head mm -hmm. of Kate Cater. Yeah, that may have been Cleared a little out. bit long. A uh, great play by Brooklyn Jensen to step up and slow down the clear. Okay, the Chargers time to come back, except then Kelsey gives it away. That would have been offside anyway. Yep. So, the, so much of the Chargers' offense tend to sit, tends to depend on the outside backs. It's interesting that we have two different outside backs Ooh. here. Oop, there's the just tripped over the ball. Yeah, ball or the do. I think so, it was the ball. <laughs> was that Brooklyn again? Yeah, I think it was. No, it was not Brooklyn on that clear. Nice that pass. Was Rowan on that clear. Yep. Is that Molly Brown? I think. Yes. Taken away by Kate Cater, looking for Abby. That Collins Friedland steps in, headed forward by Wilkins. Kelsey Hart goes out to KK Hart down the line. Leah Zimmer's able to keep it in. Blaine's trying to win it. Oh, that's a dangerous attempted clear by Country Day. We got the Blaine Devin two person show here. Good recovery. I think Kelsey was looking for Leah. Oh, yeah, Coach yelled, Leah. That's what she was trying to do. Yep. I was trying to figure out what he yelled. But that's <laughs> what it was. Cater to Zimmer. Nice long diagonal ball. Nobody behind Devin there. Nobody home. Bray comes out. Punt's been going about to midfield here. That one's headed forward. Jensen back to get it. Should a couple teammates open short also. And goes Ooh. back to Deblitz. Oh, d dangerous attempted clear Very. there. That's to Molly Brown in the middle. Good recovery by Katie Tedder. Long shot handled pretty easily by Deblitz. Holland Wilkins on the shot. I'm assuming that Holland Wilkins is related to Ellie Wilkins. Could be. That would make sense. That's Holland Wilkins right there. Wilkins didn't start. She's a freshman, but she's gotten some good good playing time right here. Now Ellie Wilkins on the throw. Nice step in by Cater. Mm hmm
Pretty sure Ellie Wilkins is going on to play field hockey in college. She's a fun is athlete she? to watch, yeah. Zimmer comes back. Zimmer trying to control it. Collins Friedland was her um, honor. Tedder goes back to Cater all the way across to Brooklyn Jensen. Had a couple of cross players go by. We should see if we can get a score. KK back to Kate. Leah goes forward. Oh, there's Abby. Nice pass. Abby turns on the Jets. Abby's getting to use her speed more here. That's who you Look think is the fastest player on the team, right? Well, fastest uh, in speed gliding is. speed. Yeah. J Jada clearly has the fastest burst. Nice place to shoot from for Kelsey. Fairly easy save in yeah. the end. Well, that kind of rolled around the ground. Low, low ball there. Yeah. Abby's got kind of the gazelle speed. Yeah. Jada has that. She's also really fast, but she has an incredible burst, kind of like a cat pouncing. Taken away by Devin. Driving the box. Looked for Leah, not quite able to control it. Abby's over here on it. Abby gets it by. Look at that play by Abby. Kicks wow. it away from the goalie. Great play by Abby, but not able to get it to a teammate, and Holland Wilkins clears it. Wow, another great play by Abby. Well, she's kind of been everywhere tonight. I mean, we see it from her a lot, but maybe especially in this game. Yeah, because she's getting to be at the midfield. Mm-hmm. It should be a throw-in for McPhillamy over there. Uh, country Day substitution. Uh, if that's if that's 22 coming in, then it's McPhillamy, and they must have a different person playing outside, back, far side. Can we see who that is? Far side doing the throw-in. Must have rotated around. That was 14, I believe. Okay, good to know. Macy Causal. Causal. Yeah, I'm not sure which. We didn't get that pronunciation before the game. Molly Brown being pressured. Nice turn on Cater. Both hearts were there waiting. Nice defense again. I think that was Brooklyn again. Long ball by Blaine. Devin running onto it. Devin's got some space. Devin driving the goal. Blocked away by the defender. Yeah, she found herself in kind of a one-on-three situation yeah. there. That was out to Macy Kozel. She tries to clear it, and it goes out of bounds. Berger's about to make some substitutions. Ball knocked out. That's Blaine reversing the field over towards Cater, not able to keep it in. Yeah. So we just got the cross score. It was. Chargers 16 and Country Day was 7, 8, or 9. A little bit unclear. <laughs> Tied at the half, and then the Chargers played a great second half. Goldine tries to get it to KK Hart. Taken away, but still pressured. Rowan Daly was looking for Devin. Lane came to kind of come on. That's going to be, should be a substitution unless they, yeah, there we go. All right, so... Ellen Romanowski is coming in at center D. Um, Zuri Daniel and also. 
Uh, it was Zuri that was going in. Um, and Jada. Oh, it was Zuri that went in at center back. Jada went in up front. Sorry, that was um, Zuri that went in at center back. Jada went in up front, and Grace White went in at the holding midfield. So apparently I have a habit of calling Zuri Yuri, so make sure I call her, okay. make sure I call her Zuri. Will do. We had a good visit with her brother at Tulane on Sunday. Hopefully he's watching. I told him I would make sure I pronounced it and said her name correctly, rather. It's Holland Wilkins again. She's played well since she came in. Grace White steps in. Oh, so, so Jada and, okay, Jada and Zuri came in. Jada looks, you know, look, at that, look at that pass to Blaine. Blaine drives by, able to keep it in. Still has it. Oh, look Ooh. at that move. Nice pass in front. Anybody there to get it? Jada prevents the clear. That was great footwork by Blaine. You see the immediate impact of Jada McGrew. Yeah. Undeniable. 1v1 on Zuri. Good recovery back by the Chargers. So now it's 2v5. Yeah, you can't really Brooklyn win that. steps in. Brooklyn blocked both of those, I believe. KK She's Hart goes forward. Well. Leah tried to come back and get it. KK Hart has it again. That was some good defense offense by Leah. Yeah. Step in to save the possession. Cater goes forward to Leah. She still has it. Tries to get it. Tries to get to KK Hart. Oh, that nice play by Grace White. Dodges the tackle. I think that was Molly Brown trying to get her. Zuri goes down looking for Blaine outside to Leah. Leah looks far side towards Devin. Almost got her there. Blaine wanted the, the ball to go down the uh, side, but that was a nice diagonal look. Chargers up 3 out. We're closing in about 10 minutes left. Nobody's chimed in to say that they're watching from far away. <laughs> Nobody's put in the chat that they're watching from Cough Cough, Massachusetts, Ohio, or New Orleans. I think we have at least one from Massachusetts. She's just not in the chat. Miles bouncing up, falls to KK. Nice takeaway. I could not see the country day number on that defense. That was four. Sam Vanyerhaven in the midfield. Lane to Kate Cater. Kate. Pivots, goes back out to Blaine. Blaine, nice look at that. <laughs> look at that bench shot by Blaine. Top corner. That was another that incredible was, angle that we had. Yeah, world-class shot by Blaine yeah. Macker right there. Um, and great footwork to get that shot. She found herself in another one-on-one -on -one situation and used her ball skills to create a shot on the left side and then hit it right where it needed to be from about, what, 35 yards out, 30? Yeah, I think she even impressed herself with that based on her reaction. I, I, would, <laughs> I would hope so because that is that was incredible. All right, we got 8, 27, and 21 going in. 21, yeah. 8, 27, and 21 going in for the Chargers. So that's Davies Easley. Ella Romanowski and Ayla Johnson. Yeah, we're going to have Ella legitimately in this time instead of me thinking she was going in last <laughs> time. So I believe Blaine, or Devin, Leah, and maybe... Katie Cheddar, I think. No, Katie or Cheddar. Kel or it was one of the hearts. Uh, okay, it was... Um, I think it may have been KK. Yeah, I think Kelsey's still there. Abby's back at her left um, back position, and they have Ayla playing up now. I mean, no pressure at all on the midfielders. That's our number eight. Back to Grace White. Grace over to Kate Cater. Cater, nice diagonal looking for Blaine. Blaine, well defended. Should be a handball. Yeah, Blaine. Blaine wanted a handball on the defense, but mm -hmm. the handball was called on Blaine. From our angle, it looked like Blaine yeah. hit it, but Blaine was yeah. closer, so. Eight twenty-seven left in the first. 
Charlie, your turn to do some talking here. Let's do it. Here's Kate Cater. In the middle picked off. It's Vanderhaven on Country Day. And Blaine McElroy steps right back in to get it. This is, I believe, El Romanowski. No, Zuri. Zuri Th that's my trick. Yep. <laughs> okay. Yuri. Zuri. Yeah. <laughs> Stop making fun of me. Okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Zuri's on Molly Brown. So is Kate Cater. Who's John that? It's Johnson over to Vanderhave. Vanderhave is looking down far side towards Holland Wilkins. I believe. No, Holland Wilkins is in the bullet middle. I don't know who that is. Far side. Okay, now we've got... Coming in here, sick. And then also, I think Kenzie Halick just subbed in number yep. sixteen. I think so, and I think that was Aubrey Goot that went into Aubrey Goot. Right yeah, here. eleven. Okay. And, and Katie 16, Tedder yeah. came out, and I didn't see who Abby else. Came and Abby Goldine came out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Abby's arm hurts. Look. Shoulder. There's Halick up in the air. Almost out of bounds. <coughs> it's not going to help me that Halick has the same color cleats as mm -hmm. Abby. Well, I almost got them confused, and then I realized that it was not <laughs> her number. Your job is to keep them straight. My job is to mess them up, Charlie. Come on. Exactly. <laughs> is that on the third far side? I think it was 14. Yep. That's what we thought. Macy Kozel. Pardon me if I'm saying that last name wrong. It's Jada. Inside, and that is... I think, that is. I think it was taken away by... Um, I thought that was taken away by Ray, but I didn't see the number. Collins Friedland on the throw here. Headed by Davis Easley over. Yeah, Haley Ray was there. Ella almost got it. Good pass. Opportunity for the Bucks now. That Cross, nobody's home. Side. This is McFilmy. 22 McFilmy. Johnson's moved back a little bit, but mm -hmm. now she's. Someone slipped right there. Pretty good save by Deblitz. Nice shot opportunity. I think that was Vanderhave that took the shot. Sam Vanderhave. Number four, that was yeah. Sam Vanderhave. Tough one there, but good job getting it off. Here's Aubrey Goot. Keeps it in bounds. Over to Davies Easley. Back to Goot. Pressure by Blaine McElroy. Here's Molly Brown. She's triple teamed right now. And that is out of bounds. Kind of a miscommunication there. McPhillamy on the 22, throw. 22, Kira McPhillamy. Looking for Wilkins. That's Molly Brown, I believe. Molly Brown has found herself in a lot of traffic here in these last two possessions. Ooh, nice save. Pretty good shot by, I think that was Vanderhave that mm -hmm. took it. Molly Deblitz, but it goes out of bounds. I think that's going to be a corner kick. All right. Taken we, by number seven, I believe. Is that seven or is that four, Vanderhave? That may be four. I think it's Vanderhave. It is. We got Sam Vanderhave. We got Jake Goldine watching from Blacksburg, Virginia. Hi, Jake. Hi, Jake, says Mrs. Dixon. Blacksburg, that's Virginia Tech? Mm hmm. Okay. I was just up there a few weekends ago.
Nice defense far Touch side that's by gonna Grace be... White. Yeah. All right, we now have checking in. Can you see those numbers? Madison Kaminsky, number 12. Ava and Ava Beninati. Yep, number 15. Blaine comes out with a first draft hat trick, and Brooklyn comes out after dominating the defense. Good to hear. Good to have you watching, Jake from Blacksburg. Hope everything's going well at Tech. Johnson gets it. Johnson trying to join the attack. Vanderhave with a long shot. Well, nice shot by Vanderhave. But a good save by Molly Devlitz again. I think that's Ayla Johnson now on that far side on defense. Step in there. Ooh. That's a good play by Zuri. It's 22 McFilmy back to that's, that's Johnson. Johnson yeah. Back to McFilmy. Almost taken away by Easley. Calling a foul on is that I think not Easley. Devin, that's Easley, yeah. Now we we have somebody else with the same color cleats. We do. Shame on them, right? We need to have <laughs> eight different colored cleats for every player in exactly. the team. Exactly. Here's Van, I think that's Vanderhave. Yeah, over to McPhillamy. Jada speeding up to catch her. Out of, almost out of bounds. Jada's able to keep it in bounds. Yeah. She's got uh, Ella far side. It's easily up ahead, trying to get it to Devin. See if she can track it down. It's not Devin. You fell into the ah. trap. Who is that? Uh, is that easily? That's not easily. Uh, it's number 12. That's oh, Kaminsky. It's Madison that is Kaminsky. Madison Kaminsky. Close. This is, I think, Halick. Can't see the number. I believe it is. Long throw. That's Kaminsky. Looking for Romanowski. Pass. I think it's Goot here. Yep. Inside to Halick. Makes a move. Pass long side. I think this is Daniel. No, it's I think it's Romanowski. Or Romanowski. Ayla Johnson battling there. Four, three, two, one, and that's Wilkinson. the half. So Chargers play a really good first half. Dan Ludley playing around with different lineups. I think he played just about everybody on the team or close to everybody on the team in the first half. And the Chargers have a 4-0 lead at the halftime. Um, that's a score is 4-0, right? So uh, Blaine has two goals, not three. <laughs> Two goals by Blaine, one goal by Devin, one goal by Abby. Um, and let's see, we said lacrosse won. Both lacrosse teams won. Both girls lacrosse won at home and boys lacrosse won at way. Um, we don't have any other scores at this point, so we will take a quick break for halftime, and we will be back.
Unmute. All right, we got 20 seconds left in the halftime break. We didn't really have many uh, halftime soccer players like we usually do from the student section, perhaps because we're about an hour behind schedule. Possibly. Um, so, again, if you weren't here first half, Chargers are up 4-0 at the half. Uh, despite my efforts to try to give Blaine McElroy three goals, she has two, running her total on the season to 26 goals in 14 games, averaging almost two goals a game. Um and then Devin also scored, and Abby Goldine scored. Both Abby and Blaine had beautiful goals, picking the uh, bottom corner and the top corner. Abby's was bottom corner. Blaine, I think both of Blaine's were top corner. Yeah, one different si corner, different side. Yeah, th but same thing, just from opposite sides. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Dixon, what was the shots totals there? Uh, Providence State had eleven the first half. Country Day five, and. Providence Day saves four, Country Day's three. So 11 shots to five, um, four saves by Molly, and three saves by Bray. All right, again, we're monitoring the chat as we come back from the half. So if you're watching from out of town, like I know... Cameron is, and I know Mr. <laughs> Goldian probably is. You're supposed to write in the chat so we know you're watching. All right. Chargers look like they might have their – is this their starting lineup? I can't – no, not totally. Um, Jada's not out there. Uh, Jada's down here hiding on the sideline. Oh. It's their starting lineup That's up right. front. I can't tell who's playing holding midfield. Is that Kelsey? Yeah, I think this is the regular Chargers starting lineup. Ex no, not in. Um, except that we have... Um, well, so remember, Abby Abby was holding her shoulder when, he came, yeah. when she came out yeah. in the first half. Uh, what I'm... Um, you know what it is, is it's we've got our... Um, Reagan DePhillips is playing at holding. Ray DePhillips? Yeah, Ray DePhillips playing holding midfield. She sometimes starts. I think that's probably who that is. And then we also have Katie Tenner in it. So the left defender and the center defenders are a little bit different. And we don't have, and we have Kelsey Hart far side, so Kate Cater is out, I believe. Devin tried to send that through to Leah. Far side pass is intercepted by Rowan Daly. Daly was pressured by um, Cassie Odom. Get some new names this half because we switched sides. Yeah. And that's a goal kick for the Chargers. Yeah, I think that's Rada Phillips. Does that look like Rada Phillips in the holding midfield? Kind of the green, white cleats there. Uh, six. six. That, that should be her. Yeah. Headed forward by KK. Leah is able to tip it to Devin. Nice play by Leah. Devin is 1B1 on, I think that's on number 20, Haley Ray. And not able to keep it in. Country day throw. All right. M. Dixon says, hi, Dad. So we have Massachusetts officially checking in on the chat. M, I think we've been pretty good with names for the most part. It's because Charlie's doing the hard work. <laughs> I think both of us have been doing solid. Kelsey not able to keep it in. Veda Phillips steps in. KK to Kelsey. A little bit of volleyball action here. Down the sideline. And step in. I believe that was Katie Tedder on that step in. There she is again. Blaine tries to get it. To Devin, now she does. Devin carries it to the middle. This is Blaine's favorite way of attacking, carrying it to the middle. Let me get to Jada. Jada's 1v1. I think that's Johnson playing outside. Oh, Jada my. Get, Jada gets by her. Jada gets by another one, and then that's going to have to be a PK. For sure. Um, 
Well, I, nice I, ball skills by Jada. I use this term a lot with Jada. She's she was playing with her food there. She she kind of did what she wanted to, and then I don't know if that was frustration with the tripping or if it was just an honest mistake. But either way, she's gonna have a very good opportunity right here, and I'd be surprised if she did not convert. Yeah, got a funny comment from M here. And Jada converts. Nice shot there. Easy. All right. So at 37.07, three minutes gone here of the second half. Jada scores on the PK. That's her 15th goal of the year. M. Dixon says, we messed up on a few things if Ma managed to check her text messages, she says. Ah. So apparently we've been missing the... Uh, Couple we made got wrong and then we corrected pretty quickly. That's Vanderhave. That was Molly Brown taken away by the Chargers. That was Macy Kozel trying to clear it down. Settled down by Rachel Guffin. And Devin comes back and gets it. I think I'm pretty sure that's Katie Tatter over there. I can't see the number, but that's probably who's playing in that center there. Brooklyn Jensen sweeps up the bouncing ball. Oh, a little bit of a miss pass there. Wow, Jada almost came back and got that. Mm -hmm. Johnson trying to go down, looking for Brown. Rowan's going to get there. Uh, actually, look at that. Look at Rowan just did. Beautiful play. Yeah, she'll she she'll off the attacker, uh -huh. so Molly could dribble the ball Set back in the pick box. almost. Yeah, beautiful play. I think that's. I have seen that a couple times from Petey this year. I think that may be a, a coach Dudley. Yeah, it's definitely a smart play. Rowan continuing down the sideline in space. Oof. Tried to get it through, unsuccessful. And Vanderhave has it. Vanderhave tries to get it across. Gets it, sort of bounces over to Phillips' foot. Now we have Molly Brown in a dangerous situation. It's only dangerous till Jensen steps in. It's Devin right here. One-on-one -on -one situation over to Blaine. Uh -oh. Head to Jada wide open. Oh, boy. Here we go. Same spot as last time. Just off there. Goal kick for the Bucks. Nice plan to get outside by the Bucks. I think that was. Uh, we haven't confirmed that's Katie Tatter. I'm just assuming it is. Can you see the number of? Let's there? confirm. Should be Kelsey in the throw-in. That is Kelsey on the throw-in. Yeah, it should be Katie Tatter, next person in. Leah is not able to head it forward. Yeah, so Katie Tedder's standing right at the 40-yard marker right now. 40 or, or, or 20, no, that, that's, 20, that's, 20. Uh, that's Blaine. 20, I think yeah, I'm looking yeah, at the 20. 20. That is Katie. Okay, perfect. So I, I got to make sure that my critics from Massachusetts don't get us messed up. Here. Yeah, we get all of them mixed up sometimes over there on the on the far sideline. That is nice cross. Directly opposite of where we are. Yeah, ended up being a fairly easy play for Molly. Rowan Daly has it up to Blaine. Nice ball work by Blaine over to Jada. Jada splits the two defenders. Blaine fills the spot outside. So does Leah. Leah runs onto it. Johnson coming back to get her. Oh, nice cut by Blaine. 
Lane Cross. Oh, Oof. Devin was not able to get her foot on it. Great play by Blaine looking for Devin. Ball's on the ground. Jade is able to kick it in. Huh. Kind that was of, a very messy goal. Yep. Yeah. But it happened. 32-48, that should be a goal for yeah. Jada. That's her second of the half. And it extends the Chargers' lead to six here with just under 33 minutes to go. There was a play there where I couldn't. I think it was Kelsey. I was looking at, but Kelsey was so far up on offense in the bark. I wasn't ex in the box. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be here, so I couldn't figure out who it was. Molly Brown and Vanderhave give and go. Vanderhave trying to drive the box. Going to call a foul. Yeah, foul and a yellow card on Kelsey. Well, I think I think that's a good call. Oh. It was pretty clear. Yeah. As we said sometimes in the old days, that would be called a professional foul. Just stopping the break with a foul there. And Ayla Johnson's going to come in for Kelsey. I think that's Brown and Johnson set up here. Brown on the ball. And then a shot, and Molly makes nice a save. Nice save. <laughs> I'm not quite sure exactly what happened there. There was a cut. Jada followed the cut. They like pointed, and then it was actually some good misdirection to give them a chance yeah. to get an open shot on goal. Well, it confused me. <laughs> So, I think that was very good. But yeah, really nice save there by Molly Deblitz. She had to go up really high for that. Almost when it, it looked like it was going to go in. Off the, kind of the tip. Yeah. Blaine comes back, intercepts. Nice ball looking for Devin. Devin wasn't ready to go, yeah, though. Miscommunication there. Just went over her head. I think she was expecting Devin to run after that one. Here, McPhillamy checks back in for a second. Rowan Daly's pass is intercepted, but Blaine picks it up. Back to Rowan. Rowan now looking for KK. Sam Vanderhave steps in. Steps in. Vanderhave's been a good player for Country Day. She has been. As soon as I say that, she throws an air, kicks an air, and passes. It out happens. Of us. It's our fault. <laughs> It's the announcer's curse. Yep. Rada Phillips tries to reverse it. Nice step in by um, McPhillamy. Brown gets by Rada Phillips. Trying to Rada Phillips comes back. They're gonna. Brown wanted the call and grabbed onto the ball and got called for the handball. Mm. Yeah, it looked like she was just waiting, like you said, expecting something to happen. Nice there. ball by Blaine. Devin can't get there, but yep. good idea. Yeah, she thought she was going to get the foul call and grabbed onto the ball. Yep. And then. All right, let's see. We have checking in here. Haley Turtz. And, and Carly, Carly White. White. Hilly Turtz and Carly White checking in for Brooklyn Jensen and Rowan Daly. 
and that moves Ayla Johnson to the center. Haley Turks take far, takes the far side. So we have, um, let's see, we have two freshmen paling center defense here. I missed that. What just happened there? Uh, Jada, Jada scored. scored a pretty easy goal there. She got the goalie out of, not out of the box, but. Uh, okay, so goal kick past the Step player. And she, uh, so that's 29-31. So Jada now has a hat trick in eight minutes. Well, that's impressive, to say the least. I don't think you ever really see that. Not often. No. <laughs> but you also don't see a team like, like this very often. So anything can happen at this point. We've seen a lot so far in the first... What, 12 games? This is the 13th? Uh, 14th. We're 14th. 9-3. Nine, 9. Let's check that again. Country Day is 9-3-1. and one. We're 13-1-1. One one. This is our ah. sixth, 16th game. Sorry, made a mistake there. Me as 16th well. 16th game. So Blaine's average is not quite as close to two goals a game, but it's still pretty close. Almost. We can round up. Ayla Johnson knocks it up. Cleared out by Katie Tedder. Look at that hustle from Blaine to get out there. Nice play. There you had the person that's got the hat trick playing hustling on defense with 28 minutes left in a 7-0 game. That's how Blaine plays. And she wins the goal kick for the Chargers. Mm Country Day is changing goalies. So Mia Taguchi, is, who's a sophomore, is going in for Liza Bray, who's a senior. All right, Leah, welcome to um, Country Day's goalie. It looks like she could be shaken up a little bit. I'm not sure. Mia, welcome to having to play goalie against a strong team. Right. Yeah, Bray does look like she's hurt there on the sideline. She's actually played quite well against a really good team, so she should not be upset about how she's played. Devin steps in. Devin tries to get it through to Blaine. A nice cover by Johnson. Johnson out to Vanderhave. Here comes Jada out of nowhere to take it back and get it to KK. KK shoots. That's deflected. And Taguchi gets her first touch. Punt's a little short in midfield. De Phillips not able to cover. Carly White's able to get it back up. Vanderhave has it. Her attempted shot for pass forward was blocked by Hart. And then McElroy blocks Johnson's pass forward. Now we've got Leah driving on the goal. Leah shoots far side and scores. Nice shot. Another great charger shot there. You could see her thinking about what she was going to do as she kind of strolled up to her spot. And that's, that's just kind of unguardable in, in yeah. high school soccer. I think I'm going to call that unassisted. Me too. All right, one, two, three, four, five. So eight players checking in for the Chargers. It's easy, going to be easier to say who's left. Yeah. Blaine's coming out. Leah's coming out. Jade is coming out. Carly's coming out. Katie Tedder's coming out. Haley Turtz is coming out. Uh, Devin's coming out. KK Hart is coming out. Wow, it's going to take a while to set the lineup here. We got. Ella Romanowski, Halick. Uh, who else is playing up front? We got our fake McElroy cleats. Uh -oh. Easley's there right here. Oh. Ella Romanowski almost took it away there. By the way, that shot by Zimmer was the first real shot to Gucci had to deal with. Not you can't do much about that. Yeah, one. well, and it it came about a minute into her being, yeah, placed in goal. 
So across the back right now, it looks like Rada Phillips might still be in the holding. We have uh, Zuri Daniel, Grace White in the middle. We have um, Ayla Johnson this side. Is Ava Beninati out there? For... Is she playing far side? Let's see if you can get a number. Uh, no, that's, I think, Aubrey Goot. Okay, nice. Playing far side, and then Rita Phillips. That was a nice pass through. That is I think that Madison was, Kaminsky in the back corner. And that was I think that was Davis Easley who made the pass, but I can't see the number standing on the thirty yard line. Yes, that's Easley, and then right next to her is Ava Beninati. And then a little bit closer in center is Ella Romanowski. It's Rita Phillips, I believe. Tried to slot it over, unsuccessful. Siri Daniel heads it up. Beninati pressuring, almost picked off. Romanowski comes back to get it. Romanowski goes back to Zuri Daniel. Daniel tries to slot it through to Beninati. Vanderhave steps in. Daniel steps back in. Kaminsky not able to keep it in. 24, 40 left. Now Country Day is cycling three, four new players in. 23, 12, 2, and 16. Morgan I think it was 24. I think that was 24, okay. 24, 12. So it's, it's Elizabeth Coppings, number 12, Olivia Mladic. Number 16, Calliope Workinger, and number 24, Alex Collin Collins. Or Connors. <laughs> Pardon me. Over to Ayla Johnson. Actually, I think 23 and 24 went in. Okay. Yes, 23 is in there. It's Morgan Klein. Is that Halick? It is. Keeps it in. Nice play. Good battle going on there between Halick and, I th uh, was that 16? I think that was... Ayla Johnson was it. Yeah, who was that? She was battling. Um, 14. It was so bad. She was battling against Kozel, whose name we don't know if we're pronouncing right. Nope. Uh, Romanowski looked far side for Kaminsky. I think she knocked that down with her hand when it was bouncing, the Country Day player did. Some qu some question about who's going to take this. Just a quick short ball. Whoop. Oh, there's that wet footing as the evening goes on. Was that Halick that slipped? That was, it? yeah. Daniel goes outside, not yeah. able to keep it in. There's a couple spots over there that are... I think kind of dewy, maybe. Well, it also rained really hard when it rained, mm -hmm. so that adds to the chance for there to be wet spots. That'll go on the blooper reel that the girls prepare. <laughs> Johnson, Beninati pressures. White's pressured. Nice. She goes outside to Ayla Johnson. Johnson was looking for Ella Romanonsky, but over her head. Klein with the throw in. Is that Easley that was pressuring there? Yes. Into Johnson. Johnson's played well overall. Right for the last play on there. Nice pass through by Easley looking for Kaminsky. Kaminsky's able to knock it off the defender. It should be. Yeah, I think that I think that was maybe off of Kaminsky. Okay. There at the end. Obviously, he has a better view than we do. Yeah, we're not going to question him. He does. It just. 
two, I can barely see the players in that side <laughs> of the field, let alone <laughs> talk about who knocked it out. Ada Phillips steps in, knocks it down, goes over the side to Ayla Johnson. That's the quick reverse the Chargers like to do, but she was not able to slip it over to Ella Romanowski. Ella Johnson's got a long throw, and there she displays it, headed over Ella Romanowski's head. Nice comeback there by Halick, and Ella Romanowski's able to get it away. Ella's driving the box, tries to get it over to Beninati. Ella Johnson knocks it forward. It's Halick again, nice move. Affected off a defender and picked up by Taguchi. Knocked out by Ayla Johnson. So that's Avery Johnson on Ayla Johnson. Yeah, Avery Johnson's played well. She has. She looks a little frustrated, but she's played well. Well, I wouldn't blame her for that. <laughs> it has, it's been a tough game, but, you know. That was crossed over Elizabeth Copping. She goes back to the defender. Defender's pressured by Kaminsky. Kaminsky takes it away. Back to Beninati. And he goes back. Who did we decide that was over there? Far defender. Uh, I think it's Aubrey. That was Aubrey yes. going forward. Ray goes back to Gucci. To Gucci. Pressured. Ada Phillips is able to get it. Trying to turn. Goes back to Zuri Daniel, who clears it forward towards Ella Romanowski. Ella's burst of speed. Nice burst of speed by Ella. Not able to keep it in. Ada Phillips reverses it all the way across the field to Aubrey Goot. Goot slots a nice pass, trying to get to Kaminsky. But a little bit off. Cleared up by Country Day, yeah. but out of bounds. Aubrey just needed an extra sprint. Yep. Yeah, we, we've had a pretty back and forth last few minutes since Coach Dudley pulled the starters. We've seen this a lot where Providence Day's second unit is really able to keep up with some of the starters on these other conference teams. Yeah, Country Day has also got a lot of their extra players in there. True. There. Well, although it's hard to tell who's the official starters in one one time against games, but there are definitely people in that didn't start the game. Yes. Ray DePhillips is able to turn it. Referee is going to make a call. They were, he was going to do a play in, play on rather, but made the call. Is that Grace that's going to take it? Yep. Grace goes this side to Ayla Johnson. Ayla's able to control, goes towards Rada Phillips. She's pressured by number 16, Calliope Workinger. Glad you didn't have to say that, huh, Charlie? Yes, very glad. Aubrey, I did say it one time. Blocked. There you go. Uh, Calliope? Yep. See, I said Calliope. Well, I wasn't listening when you said it, so I would have corrected yeah. you. <laughs> Ayla Johnson comes back. Good pressure on Alex Connors. And then Ella Romanowski comes back, takes it away. Ella goes forward. Nice ball reversal by Davis. Ava Beninati tries to go a through ball. She tried to get that to Halick, but she just mm -hmm. kind of missed it a little bit. Halick and, and uh, Romanowski are putting good pressure on in this side. Phillips takes it away to Johnson, to Romanowski. Ella turns. Ella, I think she was looking for Ava there. Halix able to knock that through. Well played there by number 14, Macy Kozel. 
She's played pretty well today, too. She has. Taken away by Romanowski. Romanowski shoots. And that's going to win a corner for yeah. the uh, Chargers. I don't know. It looked like Taguchi just... Yeah, it was a spinning ball. Nobody knows on yeah. the field who's going to take the corner. They're all like, wait, who's taking this? Looks like Haley's it's going to be Haley. Yeah. yeah. But they all were like, uh, nobody's on the field that normally takes corners, coach. <laughs> <laughs> Kenzie Halick will take the corner. I think this is the first time we've seen her take a corner. First time I remember her taking yeah. the corner. Doesn't mean it's the first time. First time I remember. Well, yeah, first time we've seen. Recently, at least. She goes low. She was looking for Ray to Phillips. Kaminsky has it. Back to DePhillips. That was a good play by Kaminsky. DePhillips turns. DePhillips has Ayla Johnson. Ayla Johnson steps in. She should have one there. She's got a good foot. Well, a little bit too high, but good idea. Um, Grace Mountcastle is subbing in for Country Day for from the far side. Is that Ellie Wilkins that's coming out? I think so. Yeah. Can't tell. Is that? Wait. Five. No, it's not. It's Ellen Roberts. Yes. Nice play by Kaminsky to st and Evie Beninati. And then, oh, ooh, nice shot. Wow. Is, is that easily? Yes. Yeah. Re well, nice save by Taguchi. She yeah. came really far out and had to reach up high to get it. Give her credit. That was tough. Kaminsky battling. Kaminsky comes out of it. Kaminsky looking for... I think she was looking for Halick there, yeah. Nah, I'll say it was Halick. It was. Thank you for confirming that I was semi on the ball. <laughs> Aubrey Gig goes back to the Phillips, back to Zuri Daniel. Over to Grace White. Grace goes to Ray to Phillips. Ray goes outside to Ayla Johnson. Ayla has two people on her. Nice play to Easley. Easley looks far side for Kaminsky. That's a good ball. Deflected back by the defender. That was well played by um, Collins Friedland over there. I think that's her name. 21's Collins Friedland. Yep. Yeah, she's she's made some nice plays today as well. Daniel's pass up is blocked. Johnson. Ayla Johnson looking for Romanowski or Halick. Halick tips it forward towards Romanowski. Mm -hmm. Romanowski's got speed. Win the race. She can. Should be a Chargers throw right there. It is. Going to let Ayla Johnson. Is that going to be a corner? I think they're saying a throw. Okay. I would let Ayla Johnson take this, but it's really far up. Ayla's got a long throw. Maybe maybe Kenzie does too. Well, Halix taking a throw in today. It's a pretty good long throw. Mm -hmm. Headed out by Ray, and that's going to be the corner. There we go. Now Kenzie gets to take another corner. I assume she'll go short again. Let's see if maybe. she... Maybe. I don't we'll know. We'll see. Looks like they're packing Chargers the goal. Maybe they'll bring the everybody box. up. Yeah. This one, I think, is supposed to be on goal. But let's see. Or maybe they'll bring some people out. We'll see. Yeah. Near the goal line, it was Bass and Kaminsky got a hit on it. Nice kick, though. And then it was going to be another corner. I think they're calling another corner because that was headed out by the defender. More Kenzie, opportunities. Kenzie's getting some sprint practice here. Yeah. One corner to the other. Well, and, the, and these are these are also good in-game reps that she you know usually doesn't get for corner kicks and even a couple throw-ins as well. This is her third corner kick in about ten minutes, maybe less. Another nice corner. That one's headed out. The Phillips steps in to try to keep it in. Yeah, a couple people have slipped around there. Yeah, White gets it back to Goot. And that's going to be up to Kenzie because she was taking that corner. 
She drives the box. Madison Kaminsky ends up with it. Yeah, nice takeaway there. And cleared all the way down. Somehow that stayed in bounds. Zuri Daniel steps in and gets it. Nice play by Zuri Daniel, yep. except that's going to be offsides. It's a really, think, really nice spot, though. <laughs> I don't think they're expecting the ball to come back that fast. We're coming uh -uh. closing in on 10 minutes left. Last time the Chargers had a lead like this, uh, Duds wouldn't let them shoot. But with these guys in, he's letting them do whatever they can to play. Yeah, well, he, he's he's a big fan of experience Yep. for everyone. Oh, that gets by. I think that's Ray getting it back to Kaguchi. Taguchi gets it out near midfield. Daniel just chests it forward, controls it. She was, I think, I'm not sure who she was looking for, but Romanowski comes over to help, as does easily. Oh, nice step in by Ayla. I oh, know that was by Rada Phillips, sorry. But nice step in by Rada Phillips. Johnson comes back. Romanowski has it now. Give away to Romanowski now. That's Ayla Johnson. Tried to look for Rada Phillips. Mr. Yeah. Now Johnson's going on a run here. She's done that a few times. Looks up for Connors, looking back for Johnson. It's sprint by Johnson. And Ayla Both Johnson's Johnsons. able to shield off enough to keep it in. Quick From Avery Johnson. Yep, quick throw to Ella. Ella's battling. That should be Chargers ball, yep. So Country yep. Day has a bunch of subs coming in now. They have five that are yep. waiting. Ooh, nice kick. Kenzie gets it forward to Ella. They're going to call a foul on that. Are they? She okay. was, yeah, she was fouled. Or they're calling offsides, sorry. Oh, wow, okay. Offsides on that wasn't the foul. It was that somebody was offsides on the semi-bicycle kick. Yep. It's Ray in the middle. Goes far side. Pressured by Kaminsky. Still pressured by Kaminsky. I don't know if that's Collins Friedland on that side or not. Continued pressure. And country day throw. Now there should be a substitution. Yep. Vander Hayes coming back in for, is that Johnson that's going out? That is. Yep. So she'll play kind of that holding midfield position that Johnson had moved back to. Trying to get some starter reps for the last few minutes, it looks like. Number 13, Rachel Guffin, also subbing in, or going to sub in. I can't see the other numbers. Maybe six. It's another starter, Charlotte McGuire. At least they're all sort of standing there as if they're going to sub in. They're not technically in the subbing area yeah. yet. Wait, here comes. Getting ready to sub in. That is Charlotte McGuire. Yep. Everybody in the 90s there. Ava's able to get it. Ava goes back to Aubrey Goot. Aubrey goes forward to, I think that's, is that Kenzie there? Should be. Yes. Aubrey steps in again. Nice play by Aubrey. Gets it to Easley. Connors comes back to gets it. That is a dangerous header because it's to mm -hmm. Ayla Johnson's feet. And now Ella Romanowski's trying to jump in. Connors has it. Ray to Phillips tried to set, but okay, here's Vanderhave, one of their strongest players. And look at this sprinting. Is that Beninati that was sprinting back? I yes. Think so. Great hustle by Ava Beninati. And that wins. That's a great play by Beninati, helping to preserve the shutout. For sure. Good, good hustle there. Okay, so we got Ella Wilkins coming back in. Yeah, Charlotte McGuire. 22 and 9. Um, Kariff McPhillamy, so a number of the starters going back in here for Country Day. And also Rachel Guffin. So you're just about six minutes left, trying to get some more, some more reps. Nice step in by the Phillips. Ava Bettinati battling Vander. Now Vander Haves got it. Another dangerous position here. 
tries to go outside. Nice hustle back by Aubrey Goot. Long cross. Molly's able to get it. We're calling that a cross. Might have been intended as a shot. Yeah. Avery Johnson goes to Ella. Ella tries to turn it. Not able to. Working Klein on the throw. Back to Klein. Tries to go forward. Falls all the way to Grace White. Grace goes over to Ayla. Nice pressure by Country Day. Ayla takes it away again. Ayla goes back to Grace White. Grace White, nice play. Back mm -hmm. to Ayla. That's a, that's a gutsy and confident play. Looking for Halick. Ray gets it forward to Vanderhave. And there's good hustle from Beninati again. Nice play. Pass to Kaminsky goes awry. That's Collins Friedland on their side. I think that was a handball on Collins Friedland. Aubrey Goot getting ready to take it. She goes over to Rada Phillips in the middle. Looking the side for Ella Romanowski. Nice spin by Ella. Nice spin again. Ella looking inside for Ava. Ava battling for it. Cleared by Country Day, but Grace White's got it. Goes outside to Ayla Johnson. Oh, nice play by Ella to keep yeah. it in. And then a nice defensive play to stop her. Collins Friedland goes forward. That is Olivia Mladic. Is that 12? I think it might be. That's got to be. I missed it. Okay, that might be Holland. Fortunately. Holland Wilkins on the far side, maybe. Something looked like they got tripped. Goal kick is the call. Siri Daniel. Tried to get it to Ava a little bit over her head and hit it out of bounds by Country Day. Should be a throw for Aubrey. Ray steps in. Tried to get it over to Grace. Uh, Grace had to recover, but she did yeah. as well. Over Some to more Aubrey. good offense defense. Yep. Aubrey was looking for Madison. Ava Beninati battling again with it. Ava sends it down looking for Madison. Madison was not ready to run, but now is that, that's Halick that was attacking there. And it's going to be Chargers ball. Quick throw in to Beninati, I think. Driving the end line. That's Halick. Halick takes it away. Tried to cross it in the middle. Nobody there, and Taguchi's able to get her hands on it. Well, she's played pretty well. Good, she has, yeah. Yeah, she, she hasn't really had to play against the starters for the most part, but she's really held up well. We got 236 left in an 8 nothing game, and we have two people still watching. Two devices. <laughs> I oh, think well. everybody else think the games, thinks the game is pretty much in hand. <laughs> I would hope so. Shout out to those two people. I wonder if one of them is my computer, so it might be only one other mm. device watching. M. Yeah, maybe M. <laughs> Dixon. Siri <laughs> Daniel steps in. Ava Beninati working hard again. Ivory Goot working hard. Really long shot to Molly. Molly to Grace. Grace to Ray. Ray goes forward to Ava. Ava goes outside to Aubrey and is fouled. Losing her shoe in the process. Hmm. Grace goes outside to Ayla Johnson. Forward to Ella Romanowski, 1v1. Nice play by Ella. Nice cross. That was Madison really nice Kaminsky kick. tried to get there. Rada Phillips has it over to Ava Beninati. 
Ava faked a shot, battling. Ava goes back to the Phillips, still battling. And I think that's is that Vanderhey that came that way from it, but Frankie Hillett comes back Ooh. and nice. She's gonna get a call, but uh, yeah. that was that was good defense to come back and hustle. It like was that. good play by Halick. Forty-five seconds. Grace White measures that well, heads it out. Important defensive header. That's Ellie Wilkins, I think, on that side. Kaminsky hits it out off of Wilkins, and Aubrey Goot's going to come up to take the throw with about 20 seconds left. Beninati out to Aubrey. Oops, she tried to get it back, but unsuccessful. 10 seconds left to Phillips reverses to Grace White. Grace goes forward to Romanowski, and Romanowski gets it. Okay, and that's the game. So a very well-played game by the Chargers defeating the Buccaneers. Um, Buccaneers, who came into the game with a 9-3-1 record, Chargers defeat them 8 to nothing. Um, so at, in the first half, Chargers goals were scored two by Blaine McElroy, one by Devin McElroy, one by Abby Goldeen. So was it a 4-0 lead at the half? Is that right? Yes. And then in the second half, Jada McGrew had a hat trick in uh, about eight minutes. <laughs> and then um, Leah Zimmer scored a beautiful goal to close out the scoring. Um, where are we? Uh, and then let's see, I should have mentioned assist as well. KK Hart had assist. Blaine McElroy had an assist. Devin McElroy had an assist. And Abby Goldine had assist along with Abby's first goal that I remember from the year. Um, what are our stats for shots, et cetera? Providence Day had 20 shots compared to nine for Country Day, six corners to two, and seven saves to Country Day's six. So a clean sweep on the stats. Yeah, I don't know. Um, player of the game, uh, maybe Blaine McElroy, as much for her defense yeah. as her offense, hustling all over the field. I I'd say. I mean, Jada coming in a close second with three yeah. goals in eight minutes. And Abby Goldin playing well. And Abby as well, well. yep. All, all and Molly, you know, Molly had the shutout and played well in goal. So we have some fun scenes of players who know teammates from other teams. So it looks like we've got um, Molly Brown from Country Day talking to, uh, let's see, is that, I think that's Devin, Katie Devin Tedder. Blaine and Katie. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's, or is that sure Brooklyn? Blaine. I think, it, yeah, no, Blaine's there. Maybe it's Brooklyn, it's yeah. True. It's Brooklyn. And then Dudley then coming over as well. Dudley. Yeah, it's 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 uh, a yeah. Brooklyn, Blaine and Devin. Yeah, talking to uh, Molly Brown, who played well for the Bucks. All right, so um, let's check our schedule here. The um, Chargers' next game is Thursday at Charlotte Latin. The first game was played here was a hard fight game, but Chargers won four zero, and uh, the. The cross team will be home against Latin yep. on Thursday, but I don't think we're streaming because I don't think, think, so. think we're going over to Latin to watch the soccer game, so I don't think that game is going to be streamed. Nice. All right. Charlie, thanks for a great job. Yes, sir. Ted Dixon, Charlie Hitt, and Melissa Dixon signing off. And, uh, again, final score, PDS 8, Country Day 0.